5 a.m. The sun is shining. It's hard to go to sleep. The sun doesn't go down here. And I'm gonna head up to the race course and get on the bike, probably for the hardest day of my life. Wow! <laughs> this has to be like 45%. Wow! Are you okay? Where am I? My name is Charles Romain. I am a full-time cycling YouTuber. And last year during my first cycling feature film in Hawaii called Ocean to Heaven, I teased that I was coming to Iceland to take part into one of the biggest cycling challenge in my life. And this cycling feature film will be my full experience, everything I live through throughout this one of a kind bike race. <laughs> you did the rides. Thank you so much to help me. <laughs> All right, Ricardo, you are the ultra endurance guy. What would be your, uh, your best tip for a guy like me who has barely done over 180K ride this year? But my biggest tip is race your own race. You know, don't try to follow uh, any guys in front because these guys are really, really strong. The Rift in Iceland is one of the most remote race you're gonna get on a bicycle because it goes throughout roads that are not accessible by regular cars. It's 200 kilometers long through lava fields, rocky mountains, steep elevation, unpredictable terrain, river crossings. These roads are not meant to be ridden on a bicycle. All right, first bad news of the day. I forgot my head unit at the Airbnb. It was charging and I left it there. There's one more option I have with me, Ricardo. You're not gonna believe it. I have a quad lock. Oh, you're gonna put your phone. And I have my phone. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the quad locks on because I need the navigation. I'm gonna be riding with my Strava on my phone. I'm sure it's going to be fine. This race is so important for me because this was the perfect opportunity to showcase what through grit is. The true challenge of this race was not to finish in a top spot, but actually just finish the course, which is a full challenge by itself. Five, four, three, two, one, stop! and wait for the group behind me. No reason for pushing too much and these guys have a pace. Like I could hang on but for how long I let myself go and do my race. Race your own race. So I was at 32 PSI and this is way too rough. Fuck. Sometimes I'm like, why am I doing this? And now the GoPro mount snap. So tough, man. All right, I made some friends. The Gravel Mafia, let's go. Whoa. Jasmine and Valerie about to kick my ass up this climb, especially Valerie. She's such a climber. Right now, this is what we call the party pace. Oh, <laughs> shit, I need to look forward. <laughs> Unreal, I do. This feels like another planet, to be honest. Wow. Man, the quad lock is holding on so well. Bike's doing good. So, Jasmine, tell us about your training. We're here, you said you're in peak form. 
peak shape. Yeah. What have you done? When in February I was doing a hundred kilometer on the trainer, so I was very scared of this race, so I prepared too much maybe. I did a lot of sweet spot. Now I'm peaking. We had a lot of uh, pasta yesterday. Everything's doing great. getting very windy here we're about 600 meters of altitude and we're going about to a thousand during this long 80 kilometer climb ah, for yourself. Ah. Woo! we're crossing man this thing is so fun look look where we are look at this it's unreal Whoa. I have to walk here. Legs feel like they just want to cramp. Oh, my feet are frozen. Life's good. This, I live for one like that, man. Just plain fun. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoy this with me. <laughs> monster climb here people are walking and I should join that walk pretty soon Val are you doing are you okay no no I saw you from far away you you got stuck in that crevasse <sighs> I'm walking that I'm not pushing my quads man I feel the cramps already it's getting tough and we're only <laughs> 74 kilometers in the good news is we're about to go downhill for the rest of the day. It's so steep. Oh, we're well, going for it. Oh. <laughs> Man, this has to be like 45%. Nice. <laughs> Are you okay? Where am I? Oh shit. Oh, well, stop, 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 stay down. He's, he's hurt bad, he's hurt very bad. Someone can go and get help. Okay. Get that car here. You he, he, he don't know where he is. Stay down, stay down, sir, sir, stay down. Stay down, sir, sir. Don't, don't stand up. You hurt your head very bad and you need to... Yeah, just take it real steady. <laughs> steady. Just, you probably put your feet here, sit there. What distance are we at? Is, uh, it's 80. I'm just so shook right now. I saw the guy totally crash right in front of me. He flipped over the bar full speed and he, he was on the ground. He was not moving when I got there and then he looks at me, the head was bleeding, and the first thing he said was, Where am I? Oh shit. Oh, well, stop, 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 stay down. <sighs> I'm not feeling good right now. After seeing that, I thought he was gonna die in front of my eyes. And there's just nothing I could do.
At this point in the race, after seeing what happened straight in front of my eyes, the motivation was not there. My mood was down. I was kind of scared of taking part in the rest of the race because what I just witnessed was troubling and was a life-changing experience. But I still had to move forward to reach my goals of finishing this course. And I, all I needed was extra motivation. So thank God I ran into the full Gravel Mafia squad. All right, the Gravel Mafia is now reunited with the, the OG members. We're missing one though. Are, are we waiting for him or? Yeah! Right, the same mieux que rien. Suck you up. All right, this is the longest pit stop I've ever, ever done. We're, we're about 20 minutes of chilling in. It never felt so good. Hey, Max, are you happy to see everyone there? <laughs> Max, are you happy, man? He cried, cried of joy. Whoa. All right, it's a start again with the Mafia. Let's go. I'm so happy to see all my homies and especially homie Max, man. Max, we've been through so much together in the last 10 plus years. Big decade, big decade. It's a big decade of romance. I don't have a big brother and I consider you as is. Thank you, Shal. I consider you as a brother as well. <laughs> Bad luck keeps uh, hitting the group now. There's sealant on the rock. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's that's done, huh? Good thing we have a pro mechanic here. Andre has the best in the country. If I find a rock, <laughs> I will hammer this to try to make it straight. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll put a tube in. So that's why you want a bottle opener on your bike tool. We call it Satar. <laughs> Charles, look at the size of my quad, and look at the size of my pipe. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! 122k in, 21 kilometers an hour average. This is the party pace. This is quite fun now that I gave up the racing part of this whole event. Gravel cycling should be all about. You're not gonna make it to a top 10. So instead of just being in the red zone all this time and just ride with your friends. I'm having a blast with the Gravel Mafia right now. We're just all together. We're having fun. We're chit-chatting. Going to the last feed zone. Going to refill up. Getting more calories in. And hopefully not cramp and finish the last 80 kilometers. But the good thing, it's all downhill from here. So it might be a little bit faster than expected. So. the whole group is disassembled it's normal like everyone's just so cooked but I'm doing I'm feeling good now it got very windy now good thing Jasmine is a big boy like I got power Whew. God bless this guy he's my savior right now just hanging on on the edge of cramps Crosswinds are so hard. Just like, can't eat carbs anymore. At this point, I had so many carbs throughout the, the day. I... And now, for the first time in what? Seven hour and a half, we have a proper tailwind to bring us home. And we have the train, Jazz the train. Ready to hammer it! Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Coming to that last 25 kilometers, this is where it got very, very difficult. The gravel that we take on in this part of the race was absolutely terrible. Despite the big tires, the low pressure, it was so rough and uncomfortable that all my energy that I spent throughout the day, I was really starting to feel all my muscle being sore and just holding on the bike was a challenge of itself. And to get things worse, that's where the rain start. That's where we had another river crossing. I just, I just, I just can't. Ah, my whole upper body is Ah. ah, this is, this is too much, man. I Dude, this is a joke, man. A river crossing here? Really? Like, like really? And as soon as we took that last right turn, we got onto pavement and I knew there was only five kilometers left of tailwind, beautiful paved roads that leads us to the finish line. And now it's a couple of kilometers and I'm home, man. I'm so proud, man. I just can't believe I'm still on the bike and I'm still feeling good. Chase moment like that. And you live at me for a long time. All right, I have, a, I have a special shout out here to give. Jasmine is the MVP of the day. Jazz has, has been pulling me for what? Seven hours out of ten? All right, guys, so the, the race, if we can call that a race, is now done. And if you guys first enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot more than you can think of. And second, if you also made it all the way this far into this video and you enjoyed it, please consider supporting the sponsor of this series in Iceland. This is a very, very expensive trip and I would not have been able to make it without 3T bikes. So if you're in the market for a new gravel bike, definitely consider it. Uh, we also add quad lock that jump into this trip. My phone stayed all day here. It did not broke. Next, I wanna give a shout out to Exact Nutrition. I've ate about nine of those today. If you guys need energy, electrolytes, protein, check it out. There will be a discount in the description down below. And I would not have stayed 10 hour on the saddle comfortably, comfortably if it wasn't from Red White Bibs. So I used the pockets more than I thought and they were so useful. The chamois is comfortable. If there's one place that I have no pain right now it's my butt their price are super affordable please consider checking out red white bibs they have been a long time supporter of the youtube channel so you're probably wondering what's next charles well here are some images of what's coming next at the end of 2022 for my next cycling feature film